Okay, Pig, you are in camera. You're on camera. Is that, is that good for you or not? to the Attitude Pride at Home Digital Brunch in support of Frontline AIDS. You've not seen my edge yet because I'm genuinely concerned about how bad I look. Lockdown has not been kind to me, friends. I just want you to know that if it wasn't for lockdown, I wouldn't turn up to a brunch in Pride with this going on on my head. So apologies to anyone offended so early on a Sunday. Um, today's gonna be fun, so thank you for tuning in. We're hopefully gonna raise loads of money for Frontline AIDS, and we're gonna do that by you donating. So you can either buy a raffle ticket, and the prizes are amazing, like a night at Claridge's, there's stuff from Gucci, there's an amazing painting by Tom O'Campbell, loads of stuff, so go and check the prizes out. Buy a ticket as well, because they're a tenner, and then that money will go to supporting Frontline AIDS and all the amazing work that they do um, for LGBTQ people all around the world. So if you want to go and do that, we would love it. There's going to be, like, amazing drag performances. This is, a, this is a global event. The entire world is going to see just how bad my hair is. Great. Um, but I thought what we could do to start with is speak to one of the biggest drag queens uh, in the world, the queen that roped me into this and has organized this whole thing, the one, the only, Henry Holland. So let's give her a call. Hi, Hen. Hi. Oh my God, what is on top of your head? No, my hair is not okay. It's not okay. You're giving me like anxiety, feeling that mine's terrible. That is calling me a drag queen on the internet. That's bloody bomb. <laughs> no, I, I can't tell what's best if it's to look like this or if I sweep it back. But if I sweep it back, I look like Jack Nicholson. Whatever the option that isn't looking like that, that's best. <laughs> How's that? Way better. Way better. Um, Hen, this is exciting. I'm so excited that Isn't we're doing it? this. Happy Pride! Yeah, happy Pride! Um, thank you so much for doing the hosting duties for us. Um, but this is so. This is the second year that we've done the drag brunch, and last year we did it in real life. This year, because of Miss Corona, we can't do that. Uh, but we've got so many amazing things that you're gonna introduce throughout this afternoon. Yeah, it's just gone past. Yes, yeah, it's, it's gone noon. Yeah. Let's go on in, we can have a drink. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's all to benefit the amazing work of Frontline AIDS and their emergency fund, which protects and safeguards LGBT people all over the world. Um, and they just do incredible, incredible things. So make sure you text to donate, make sure that you buy a raffle ticket and make sure that you have a shed load of fun and just really enjoy it. Sorry, I was up on you. Um, no, I, I every time I do a FaceTime, Bloody Pig starts talking next to me like she's on the Pig. FaceTime. She's I like sat next to me going, Ooh, I'm like, shh. Sorry, Pig, we're fundraising. Sorry, Sorry about Pig. it. Um, and um, yeah, make sure you buy a raffle ticket. The prizes are amazing. You can win a holiday for two nights in Bali. Woo. Got to buy your own flights. Uh, you can win a Gucci bag. You can win uh, a John Booth vase, which is gorgeous. Yes. You can win loads of Christopher Kane stuff, Roxanne the handbags, just loads of amazing. Oh, and Lexa Chung dress. I'm up for that. Uh, just loads of amazing stuff, um, but it's going to be so much fun and I hope everyone enjoys it and has a great time. It's something really nice and really exciting that everybody's together today doing this. Like so many people have messaged me and reached out to me saying that they're going to be watching and buying raffle tickets. And I know it's nice to be all together, but I like the idea that everyone's, you know, with their mates or like, their housemates. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Yeah, we're like alone yeah. together. Um, well, should we have our first performance? Do you want to introduce? Yeah, go on. Go on. You do it. All or right. I'm doing it. Yeah, well, well, <laughs> um, I'll do it then. You Let's... do it. You're on the bloody flyer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let me host. Um, kicking off our incredible drag brunch is the incredible 
bag of chips. So let's go now to Birmingham and hear from Miss Chips. Match better. Match better. Match better. Thanks, Grimmy. Hello and welcome to everyone joining us for the Henry Holland's Drag Brunch with Slingsby's Gin. Oh my God, I love a gin, you know me. And all this is part of Attitudes Magazine's Pride at Home. Right, I'm now gonna show you how to get pickled on gin. And it's gonna be much better. Right, let's make some cocktails. My favourite ever gin flavour is rhubarb. And Slingsbury's um, do a rhubarb gin. So um, first I'm going to add, you can use cane sugar, but I prefer brown sugar in mine. So I'm going to add three tablespoons of brown sugar. Gorgeous, absolutely amazing. And then I'm going to get a little bit of mint. Get some mint, it can be from the supermarket, fresh mint. This has just come off my, um, my, off my allotment, you know what I mean? I'm very green fingered, I'm very Charlie Dimmock, but I wear a bra. So um, yes, so we've got the sugar and the mint in there. Right, we are now gonna crush. So imagine me when I'm winning those challenges on Drag Race. Crush, crush, crush. Crush, crush, crush. Take that, Cheryl Hall. You're not getting a badge this week. Ah, oh, crush, crush, crush. Crush, 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 crush. And I'm really crushing it in. Oh. So that's all crushed. Oh, that's much better. That is absolutely much better. Right, my favorite part. Let's add the gin. Oh my God. This is the Slingsby's Gin, and this is in rhubarb. This is my favorite flavor. I could drink this from the tap. So we're only gonna add a little bit. We've gotta drink sensibly, so I'm just gonna add a little bit. So um, you just pour in the gin. Now we are going to add some fresh lime. We have some fresh lime here, and you just squeeze it, squeeze it like a pair of balls. Ball crusher. Oh, look at all that lime going in. And I love it, you know, when you get the bits in. Yeah, I'm one of them people that go to the supermarket. I always have my juice with the bits. I love the bits, ooh. So squeeze it all in, my darling. Squeeze it all in. Absolutely marvelous. Right, now, I'm gonna find my utensil. Here it is. And I'm gonna put it on top and then you shake, you give, oh, yeah. Make sure it's on tight, very, very tight. You don't want it very, very harsh, you want it very, very tight. Shake, 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 shake. So we've shaked our cocktail. Oh, that is looking like perfection. Oh, and then, you can't have gin without tonic. That's like having a bag of chips without a ciggy in her hand, do you know what I mean? You've got to have your tonic water. So, um, put the tonic water in. Oh, that is just marvellous. That is, it's orgasmic. It's looking gorgeous. Right, are you ready? I'm going to try this, guys. This is rhubarb gin, my favourite gin. Thank you, Slingsbees. Oh, my God, I love you. And I'm going to pour it in the glass. Can you see that fresh mint? All oh, that fresh mint. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh my God. The smell and the aromas. Oh, fabulous. Right, are you ready? You have been cocktailing with Bag of Chips MBE, Queen of the Battered Sausage. Cheers, Attitude. Cheers, Henry. Cheers, Grimmy. Cheers, everybody. Bottoms up. Bag of chips there, making my dreams come true. Cocktails with bag of chips. Uh, so from Birmingham now, we are off to New York City. We did tell you it was a global event. Uh, we now have an exclusive burlesque performance from the icon, the legend, that is Amanda Lepore. Hi, everyone around the world. It's Amanda Lepore. 
Thank you for joining us in the Attitude Digital Pride Brunch. Please make sure that you buy lots of raffle tickets. Help support the work of Frontline Apes. If you're really lucky, you could even win a personalized cameo from me. And now, the moment you've been waiting for. Wow, wow, wow. Obsessed with a mandala paw. We love a nipple pasty before lunch. Where else do you see a midday nipple pasty? Must be pride. Okay, back to the UK now and to check in with the incredible Mahatma Kandi and Astina Mandela to see what amazing prizes are up for grabs in our incredible charity raffle. Uh, Now, when Henry was organising this raffle, uh, he reached out to me and he said, anyone you know that could give an incredible prize? I said, why don't we ask Rita Aura? So I asked Rita uh, and I said, Rita, have you got anything for the for for the raffle anything that you could donate and she's like yeah i've got a wig or i've got a bag or i can do a wig 
in a bag. So that's what we actually have for you. Uh, you could be winning one of Rita Ora's bags, uh, which will contain one of her wigs. OK, uh, do not forget to get a raffle ticket throughout today's event. Uh, all the money goes to charity. You can click on the link on the screen to buy a ticket. But let's hand you over now to Mahatma Candy and Astina Mandela. Hello and welcome to the raffle. Let's meet our queens. The hilarious Mahatma Candy. The always beautiful Astina Mandela. And here they are to tell us why we are here today. The raffle is to raise money for the amazing work of Frontline Aids. The tickets are only £10. And stay tuned for special performances from Gigi Good, Asia O'Hara, and Amanda McCall. DJ set by Jody Park, and come and have a drink with that bagger. Because you know what? You're going to feel much better. That's where you come in. Anything you are able to give could make the difference between life and death for an LGBTQ plus person in Africa or the Caribbean during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now let's look at those prizes. Starting with this beautiful Ghani bucket hat. How stylish. From Paul Spice herself. Yes, Victoria Beckham. Not one pair, but two pairs of beautiful sunglasses. Thank you, VB. You're too kind. From the coolest customization kits in town, Chaos. They offer you four different items. One more gayer than the other. Happy Pride. This beautiful necklace from Alighieri. Not for you, Astina. A J&M Davidson belt bag. Two iconic bags by the iconic Lulu Guinness. Thank you, Hillier Bartley, for this tasseled collar box bag. This beautiful Gucci bag worth over a thousand pounds. For a mere ten pound donation, you too can have the chance to win not one, not two, but three Roxanda bags. The incredible people at Kirk Geiger have spoiled us. Not only can we win their bags, but also the tote bag and t-shirt. The beautiful people at Christopher Kane have shared their More Joy collection with us, including a t-shirt, a towel, a cap, sex pumps, a mug, a special fan, and more. There's definitely more joy with Christopher Kane. Thank you, Christopher Kane. This absolutely stunning rainbow Molly Goddard jumper. Even our queens can't get enough of it. Thank you, ladies. Okay, from Houston in London, I believe it is time to head over to Texas right now for some RuPaul's Drag Race Season 10 realness from the queen of the pageant queens, Miss Asia O'Hara.
Alicia O'Hara. Okay, uh, now it is time to watch a film to help us all understand what today is all about. Of course, it's all about fun, but we are here to raise money. Frontline AIDS is the world's largest partnership of organisations working to end HIV and AIDS. Funds raised throughout this event are going to be used to support the charity's Rapid Response Fund, which provides emergency support to LGBT people across Africa and the Caribbean, often in direct response to stigma, persecution and the threat of violence or arrest. Since the start of the COVID-19 crisis, demand for the Rapid Response Fund has trebled as lockdowns and travel restrictions have created new dangers for LGBT people. Money raised will help the Rapid Response Fund meet this increased need from getting vital HIV treatments to those in lockdown to providing food and essentials for homeless people sheltering in safe houses. Okay, time for another performance now. But do you know what? I, I am. Uh, I'm going to hand this introduction over to a friend of mine, someone that we love, uh, and someone that I think just just needs to help me out on this one. Um, an icon in the world of drag, and most of what comes out of her mouth makes me wet myself with laughter. Ladies and gentlemen, Michelle Visage. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Michelle Visage. Uh, happy Pride! First and foremost, I know for me in my head, Pride is every day, but it is Pride Month officially, and it's super important that since it doesn't look the way we'd hope it looked, that we all continue to celebrate for everybody who needs it. And there are a lot of people out there that need to feel the community and need to feel love. So let's celebrate loud and proud. Thank you so much for joining us and being part of our fundraiser. Let's make a lot of money for Frontline AIDS. Super important that we keep this going and keep Keep the bankroll going up, 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 so we can get the necessary funding that we need. Now, on another note, here is the time I'd like to welcome one of our superstars from RuPaul's Drag Race America, Series 12. She was a final three contestant. She is a fan favorite. She is loved and she is fierce. Please welcome Miss Gigi Good. Some people say I look like me, Dad. What? Uh -oh. Hey, hey, hey. Uh -oh. I said, hey boy, sitting in your tree Mommy always wants you to come for tea Don't be shy, straighten up your tie Get down from the tree house, sitting in the sky I wanna know just what I do Is it very big, is there room for two? I got a house with the windows and doors I'll show you
going to leave Gigi good right there and go and check back in with those queens in a cupboard behind Euston Station one last time. Here's a reminder of what you can win in our incredible raffle. Hello and welcome to the raffle. Let's meet our queens. This kitty flower slip dress from Alexa Chang. Some Erdem PJs. Either you're surfing the waves or surfing the web at home because of COVID-19, here's Surfwear by Double Rainbow, two Victoria Beckham signed t-shirts, full fashion sport look from PE Nation. Are you in desperate need for some fancy schmancy napkins? Well, here comes Giles Deacon. Thank you, GD. You too can win any of these prizes if you just buy a £10 raffle ticket. Remember, it's for Frontline Aids. Donate and see if you could win this Happy Pill shirt by S-A-R-K. Not for you? Well, how about a 250 online voucher for Uggs? Maybe hungry instead? How about a one month supply of Deliveroo? A place on legendary Anna Bonnet's next cookery course. One session with Olympian Sarah Lindsay and nutrition appointment with Raw. How about an Aqua Glow facial from one of the most recognized names in the beauty industry? Shane Cooper. One night and breakfast in a suite at Claridge's, complete with cocktails at the bar. Don't worry, folks, here's another. One night and breakfast in a suite at the Berkeley, complete with 
cocktails at the bar. There's something for everyone. A two-night stay at London's Edition Hotel. Bistrotech is offering a delicious dinner for four, delivered straight to your door. How yummy! In times like these, all we need is a good stiff gin. The beautiful people at Slingsby Gin are offering a hamper of not one, not two, but three gins. Whose grabby hands are those? Two original artworks from illustrator Hattie Stewart, Rainbow Devil, and Doodle Bomb, the face magazine cover of Harry Styles. This beautiful rainbow head face by John Booth, worth over 500 pounds. This pride, I hope you win a colored birchwood fan painted with a rainbow stripe from Fern Fan. Talk about pride. A don't be a dick flowchart. Yes, a don't be a dick flowchart by Jenny Dyson. Original artwork by Christopher McCreevy. From our beautiful ally, Charlie XCX, some memorabilia. Thank you again for joining us today. I hope you win some prizes. Stay tuned for the performances, DJ Seth and Cocktail. Time for a finale now. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I hope you've spent all your pride budget on raffle tickets for Frontline AIDS. Our final performance is from the person who gave me my first ever DJ residency in London. Um, it was, I can't even remember about 1965 I think when I first met Jody Harsh um, but yeah Jody used to have me DJing every single Friday night for 75 quid for about three hours rip off merchant so before we get on to her I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has supported today's event through the text to donate number or by buying raffle tickets and next year I really hope that we can all get together uh, and do this in a sweaty room within two meters space of each other so all stay safe thanks so much for watching and contributing and happy pride playing us out for the next hour is the legendary former employer of mine Jody Harsh
black girl in the Brewster Projects of Detroit, Michigan. At 15, she was spotted by an ebony fashion film in Canada, Scotland, and her modeling career took off. You now are
you're walking in. Then clean your neck. Then clean your real neck. You can hear that now. I told y'all mother, y'all think I'm in there. Listen to me now, I'm next to 20 rounds. And if you want me, then I'm gonna get me now. Since you're with me now, let's make you pick your best. I'm not gonna take the risk. Superstar. Hold on, hold on. Thank you. 
I flash screen till they say, go ahead, baby. Sit it in your go ahead, baby. You could be the next Jennifer Lopez, maybe. And we could be cleaner than the posters, baby. Ain't no these, no these like a dope head, baby. The no car, this get no red, baby. Do it say stupid on your phone, that baby. Since I got what I lay, I ain't gotta check them, baby. Damn, this is how Beckham feels. By the way, I be Lamborghini. I have chicks shaking like they tambourine. And come on.
Thank you so much for watching my DJ set. I'm knackered now. That was a lot of fun. If you like what you heard, uh, like the video on YouTube and subscribe to Attitude's channel. Leave a comment, say what song you want to hear in the next set. And I've really enjoyed being part of Pride at Home with Attitude. I hope you've enjoyed the all the festivities and happy Pride from me and everyone at Attitude. Mwah!